<laughs> He's not black. <laughs> Obama has black blood in him. From Middle East. What, what is he? Uh, um, what was his father? Muslim. His, his mother is white. Yeah, his dad is. What, uh, what was his father? A Muslim. Well, he's a black Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> well, so he still got black in him. Yeah. If your dad is black, you half black and half white. That's what you are. Yeah. And 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 uh, and, uh, and just like Kamala Harris, they cause she and they call her a woman of color, but I don't know why they call her a woman of color. That woman got black in her too. <laughs> cause uh, cause I I know black in people when I I don't care how white they say they are. I know yeah. black in them when I see it. Yeah, they always. I know when they mix, cause I'm from the south. Yeah. You know, I would know all about that clans, mess, and 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 all all that racial prejudice stuff. I know all about that stuff. Yeah. Y'all amateurs with that baby. I got a book that will blow you out <laughs> the water. That was one of my class school books when I was in in in, in high school. Yeah. When I was even in elementary school, they taught us, you know, different things about racism and stuff. We got to see some of this stuff first and the prejudice. Yeah. And we actually battle in a racial war. That's what we doing. Yeah. People don't know. They just sitting here talking about this Black Lives Matter and this and that. All this stuff is is a racial thing. Yeah. When you get to the bottom of the issue, it's all about race. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. And ain't no, ain't nobody in slavery time now, so you know, <laughs> I could, I could really straighten them all out if I felt like. It. Yeah. I said, Lord, if I was walking and on my feet, I'd be to put some stuff out there. Yeah. You know, them, these people ain't even in line with the word of God. Yeah. All the matter order and they need to get in order. Yeah. And everybody's fighting for power. That's all it all is. All this mess is about power and prestige because God gave it to me. That it was about power. Yeah. And they, everybody wants, wants to have power. And it's sad because they'll destroy anyone and everything to get that power. And that power is also self-destructive. Yeah, it can be said. Power can be used either way. It can be used constructive and it can be used also destructive. Because mm -hmm. if, if a person got getting power and they ain't no real Christian, they playing church and acting like they, uh, you know, one of Christian people, and they ain't doing nothing pertaining to what God wants them to do. Now, baby, when the Bible tells you, when they said peace, walk, and 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 that that ain't no lie. It's the truth. The Bible don't lie. All this stuff is right there in the Word. Yeah. All everything that's happening is right there in the Word. Mm -hmm. And we getting closer to the coming of Christ. That's what's happening. Yeah. Child of rapture could take place anytime. Yeah. And and you know people are trying to fix stuff. It ain't gonna be no fixing because the Bible speaks of that. Yeah. And some of these old crazy people calling me up to my. Is Trump the Antichrist? That's all no know. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> I've been asked that a dozen times. I said no. Not even close. He ain't even close to the Antichrist. They ain't reading their Bible. The Antichrist is going to come out of Syria. He's not going to come out of America. Yeah. But they forget. Because they forget they our. Read, they need to read the word. That's what they need to. But they do. forget that. Um, Artificial intelligence uh, was uh, originated in Syria. That they gave the remember that uh, Sophia robot 
They said that her her citizen she has a citizenship from Syria. <laughs> Yo, well, this show, I told him I said no, he is not the Antichrist. Yeah. I know what God showed me about that years ago. Yeah. Yep. But it's somebody who's in position and they're kind of given the orders of how to run democracy in the United States. That's what I know. Well, it is the Russia been doing that trying to run the democracy in the U.S. for years. Russia been doing that. Yeah. But there's a lot of people I feel that are disguising as being black or African American, but it's they're like they're told they're not. Mm-hmm. When they come talking that crap to me, I straighten my real quick. <laughs> I don't even have African American blood. No way. We're not from Africa. DNA. Yeah. I'm. I'm. I'm not African American. Yeah, but they use that to to keep us in the the free in the no slavery mindset they, they no, that we should be privileged. We, we were first. Negroes. Yeah. Then we went from Negroes to black. And then then we went from black to African American. Follow it through, that's what they did. They put a label on black folks. Yeah. Now they tell me we people of color. (laughs) I told them I don't have no African American. My ancestor is strictly Irish. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and even when they did my blood work, they put it in my chart. They don't find no African American in me, even though I go, I don't go for African American. I just put black down there, but I'm not black. Yeah. You know, my my mother and them was all Irish, and my mother's mother was white. And my mother's father was a full-blooded Irish. Mm-hmm. So that's why they will never find no black blood in in, our, in my family. They got us screwed up. <laughs> it's real screwed up. But it's factual. Yeah. Because my mother's ancestors, they all from Ireland. I got the, I got the whole history on them. I've been trying to get the history on the Johnson. <laughs> I don't know what they were. I don't know what nationality, but Grandpa Johnson was mixed with English or, or something like that. <clears throat> yeah. He wasn't no full-blooded black man. I do know that. Mm-hmm. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but he just not. You know, they they going around labeling all of us uh, African Americans when we are not. Yeah, they just doing that because they think that we should be uh, um, privileged that we came out of slavery, but we did not come from slavery. We didn't come out of no door in slavery. My and my mother's father was not a slave. Yeah. And I don't, and I don't think our Grandpa Johnson was raised by slave owners. He would, he wasn't in no slave camp. Yeah. His his parents worked in the, they were servants in the slave house. They were not there at heart labor in them fields and things. Mm-hmm. And them people raised Grandpa Johnson. Yeah. <laughs> from a boy, cause his family died, and when he got old enough. Until 18, they asked him, did he want to go out on his own? And he told them, yeah. And they gave him all the money his parents had saved. And they gave him extra money. That's how he started buying that property. Yeah. And he bought that property at $5 an acre. And guess what? He bought it from a slave owner. Mm-hmm. Because they said that Papa was cousin to the Skinner's. And the Skinners were white people. Mm. They were not black. And so, and, and see, my grandpa, my mama's daddy, he was a full-blooded Irishman when he came to, from Ireland. He was a boy when his family came, or young when his family moved from Ireland to Virginia. 
Mm-hmm. And Grandpa bought that estate that's called Swinney Ranch. Now, all of us grandkids own it now, but but that's, he bought Swinney Ranch and built his family a big house and then everything. I got the whole history of that family. And grand my mother and them was it was twelve of them. Mm. They had twelve sisters and brothers. By one woman. Yeah. My grandma. And grandma was white. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she was French and Indian and we started looking it up and grandma was actually white. Yeah. Because people used people used to wonder they had this great big old estate and deep into the swamps down there. And that estate is still there. We all own an interest in it. Mm-hmm. And believe me, and believe it or not, they don't take no stuff. They don't care if you white, black, green, or blue, you ain't coming over that mess around. They got it posted, this fenced in and posted. Yeah. And it's huge. It's, it's about 50 miles off the highway, deep down in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> and ain't no other houses around or neighbors or nothing. Yeah. And that's where Grandpa raised his children. Wow. And they had a nice big house, and he dressed them nice and everything. Mm-hmm. But Grandpa didn't take no stuff. <laughs> yeah. That Irishman was mean as the day could get mean as <laughs> heck. Because my uncles and things, they were just a bunch of little old Irish looking men. Yeah. My mother's brothers. And all of them had, it was, most of them had pretty big families. Mm-hmm. They had one of my uncles had 23 kids, and uh, four, four or five of them was by his first wife. The rest of them was all of them was by his um, second wife. Yep, so that was a big family. Yep, I got pictures of them and everything. And he took care of them and wasn't no static. And white folks didn't mess with him either. And Grandpa Johnson, they didn't fool with him either. Because <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Johnson would blow your butt away. He had guns over every door in that house. You wouldn't mess him with him. And white people respected both of my grandfathers highly. They, did, they didn't mess with them. And they didn't mess with Grandpa Johnson either. Wow. They sure did. And Grandpa Johnson was one of the wealthiest black men in those parts. Wow. He owned businesses and all that kind of stuff. And them and they respected him. They didn't mess with him. Because he'd blow you away. He didn't play. And he well took care of us. We wouldn't, we didn't want for anything. Wow. So they, they, they come on with all that, all that stupid, crazy mess and the riding and looting and fighting. That's not going to get nothing done. Yeah. All they had to had to do that if they peace I could deal with them if they peacefully marching, but when they saw all that riding and looting, they ain't nothing but the devil. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's yep. exactly what it is. Yep, because he want to tear down what God created. He want to tear down stuff that ain't gonna build you up. Mm-hmm. All it's gonna do is put you in further property. Profit, what is poverty? Instead of trying to enhance they, they neighborhood and they people and stuff. 
But the devil is real busy. Yeah. Busier than we think he is. Yep. But I tell him all the time I like to see black men have their own businesses and you know, do things what yeah. they like, you know. Well, that's possible, but they want us all to sell our souls for money. <laughs> yeah, but you ain't supposed to sell exactly. your soul for no money. You stand firm. They trying to make people Freemasons, and I'm like, nope, free will. I'd rather be poor with free will. Now, you don't sell your soul. That, that you don't, do. No. I have a lot of friends who, who have, and I'm like, well... You 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 yeah, have a nice apartment. You got a nice car, but and they they do anything for money. That's how they get to sell and they sell. But that's what they're trying to uh, indoctrinate to people. Is saying if you want to make it, if you want to thrive, you got to blank blank blank. But who wants to be tormented by demons their whole rich career? <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, you got a lot of folks already who sold their soul to the devil. And some of them don't even know they sold their soul to the devil. Yeah. Well, all these... And you, got, and you got a bunch of preachers that have done that, too. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of preachers in hell, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> a bunch of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. A lot of these celebrities, too, that are, I guess, they're being reported as dead. They're not really dying. They, Because I was like, you know, uh, what's her name? Cicely Tyson. I was like, how does she die two days before her book release? That's just too strange. And then the uh, lady from the... Well, Sister Tyson was old, child. She was 91. But she died to the very last 24 hours of releasing her book, which was too coincidental for me. But well, I ain't got nothing about it yet. Yeah, and then the lady uh, from the Supremes, uh, she died yesterday. What lady? Um, what's her name of the Supremes? Gladys Knight? No, the other one. I knew Gladys Knight. I didn't know that. Not Diana Ross, but, uh, who was the other one? Diana Ross? Not Diana Ross, the, uh, the other one. Diana Ross passed away? No, no, not Diana Ross. Um, let me look up her name real quick. Because Diana Ross is no, she's still alive. the same with the Supremes up there. Well, she, she's been taking adrenochrome. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> she's been taking where? They have, they've been saying people who drink adrenochrome. It's like the fetal fluid from a child after birth. And it keeps them in the young. It keeps their immune system stronger and they stay alive longer. It's crazy. You well, ever heard about adrenochrome? You never heard about adrenochrome? Yeah. Oh. Ma Mary Wilson was the one who passed away. Well, she sang with them, huh? Yeah, but her she's supposed to release an album in two weeks. <laughs> well, how, how old was she? She was 76. Yeah, you because know, I know the Supremes were around when I was young. Yep. But I just thought it was just too coincidental how she passed right before her new album. And then... Well, sometimes you have to... Some, you may be right. Well, I think that's how people are learning how to make money. They just sell something before their death and the sales would peak on Wall Street. <laughs> It's crazy. Like, people don't think that. Yeah, it is crazy. You pay the right people to fake your death, and you just disappear on the island. And... But then we live in, in the sand. Yeah. Even, so uh... I'm not surprised that nothing had happened. Yeah, even, uh, they wanted to do a remake of the Saved by the Bell TV show. We used to watch that after school all the time. And uh, the 
guy named Screech from the TV show, he died last Monday. Really? Yeah, and it's like, how did he die? Oh, a week before they're going to restart the whole, they're going to do a reboot. So I've just been observing, going, wow, Hollywood is crazy. It's just... They may be foul play somewhere. <laughs> when... Who knows? Yeah. Those people do strange things. Yeah. It's just depressing to watch. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. But my mom...